To get started, hit go in the Uber app. You'll see your area with hotspots. Once an order pops up, you'll see how much it will make, how long it will take, the total distance, the restaurant, and the approximate delivery location. In this case, I'm going to decline the order by hitting the X in the upper right hand corner because the order is just too small for the distance. You're now back in the home screen where new orders will pop up. Once an order pops up that you'd like to take, simply hit the green delivery button. In this case, I was right by the restaurant, so it made sense. This will start the navigation to the restaurant. Uber has its own navigation, but I recommend you also use Google Maps as a backup. Once you arrive at the restaurant, let someone know you're with Uber and who the order is for. You can then look at the details on the right-hand side of the name to see what's in the order. Always check for drinks, as they're the most forgotten item. Once you get the order, you can choose to leave the merchant a thumbs up or down. I rarely do this, but this experience was great. Then swipe to start delivery. This will start the navigation. Again, make sure you also have a backup navigation. Once you're at the customers, just follow the delivery instructions. In this case, leave at door. I always like to take a photo and I also add a small note letting them know where I placed the order and to enjoy their food or have a good day. It's not required, but you do depend on tips and ratings, so it's a nice touch. Once you're done, just hit delivered and you will be taken back to the home screen for other orders. To drop an order you've accepted, hit the red circle with the triangle inside and provide a reason. I usually provide excessive wait time as the reason if an order is still 15 to 20 minutes out. Once you select your reason, Uber will ask you to confirm that you really want to drop the order and you go ahead and say yes, cancel, and then you'll be taken back to the home screen where you'll be able to take new orders. From here, you'll also be able to go offline. Simply swipe up and select go offline. An hour after your delivery, you'll receive an in-app notification letting you know how much you earned during that trip. In this case, the trip from earlier that was about $10 turned out to be $19.03, which is quite lovely. So you're able to send thanks for tip. I always send thanks for tip no matter what.